As you can probably tell from the title of this, this is not a film review or a video game review. A little while ago I got back from my Spanish exam and it started me thinking. I passed just barely. We relatively recently here in Denmark had our numbers changed for the corresponding grades. Apparently so that it would be easier to compare them to grades gotten in other of the Nordic countries. Question. Would you say that getting a 6 where the maximum is a 13 sounds less devastating than hearing that you got a 2 out of a possible 12. You see, the 2 essentially corresponds to what the 6 used to mean, so the only real difference is the impression it makes upon people. And to me, a 2 really just sounds like, okay, you just barely got by at all. And okay, maybe that's true, but do you have to tell me to my face? Couldn't we just play pretend that I did a little bit better? After the exam itself followed the drive-by evisceration that is them explaining why they decided upon that particular grade. And don't get me wrong, I fully understand that they want to explain to you why exactly you didn't get a higher or, for that matter, lower grade than you did. Give you some helpful tips on how to improve, even though you basically can't go to another exam before, you know, same time next year. It's essentially the same as telling you where the perfect spot to go for a summer vacation on, you know, the 30th of August, but whatever. And they want to tell you, you know, maybe you, you're not aware of what you're doing that is harmful to your overall grade. I get that. But still, at what point does it just become the predator having just killed its prey and now just playing around in its entrails. You know, it's... No, wait! Come back! We have more bad news to tell you! The education system could definitely go for an update. I think a large part of the reason it hasn't is that 16 of the last 28 years, the Secretary of Education has been Bertel Hauder, a man so old that when he attended school, how to hunt dinosaurs was still on the curriculum. He's now Secretary of Health, and frankly, that makes a lot of sense, because as old as he is, and still healthy enough to pursue politics, which is arguably a rather intense and demanding career, he certainly must know how to stay in good health. So in closing, I just want to say, I'm not actually against the idea of using tests to evaluate someone's skill within the education system. I just think they should go further. I think that every single teacher and every potential censor should have to be tested in their ability to teach and, I don't know, censor before they are ever allowed to actually teach or censor. And all of those evaluating them would then be allowed, indeed encouraged, to say to their face exactly what they could be doing better as a teacher or as a censor. Because it's frankly quite stunning that even after all this time where we realize that authoritarian teaching styles simply do not help the students as much as mutual respect and trying to actually get them interested in the subject there is still this much authority and fear in the education system. Well, that's all for this one. Hope you enjoyed it. If not, the next one will probably be a movie review. If you did, let me know and feel free to suggest any other topics for me to discuss. See you next time.